I wanted something alternative, but imperfect. We get a lot of grief from people. I don't really care. Each build is a singular, high-functioning sculpture. Chatsworth, California. This may look like a parking lot full of rusting junk, but don't be fooled by the scruffy shells. The vehicles that lead the Icon Workshop are unique reimagined classics. Derelicts will never repeat the same build twice. Each one is a singular, high-functioning sculpture. But why the unorthodox finish? I wanted something alternative, but imperfect, so I didn't have to worry about it. But I didn't want to be that guy who's like super stressed out about the first scratch, the bumper rash, stuff like that. And this vehicle is an epic two-car mashup. It's technically a Chrysler town and country, but the front hood and grill is a like condition, kind of sort of the same green 52 DeSoto sedan. Bolted the two together and then I was like, yes, okay, now we're on. Original car didn't have AC. All the knobs and the switches are still kind of sort of in the original position. For the modern AC controls, I could maintain the consistency. Like same with the gauges. I didn't restore them and make them all pretty. Everything down to the acrylic and the tight face is authentic. But behind the scenes, it's all video circuit board, state of the art. And then the audio system, it's a Bluetooth dependent digital sound processor interfaced amplified audio system with bass meaning I just control it from my phone and there's nothing visual that you have to interface with in the vehicle. This was a 3,000 hour build for Jonathan and his team and it comes complete with some quirky touches. It's just fun to add a little bit of tongue in cheek, have a little sense of humor in these builds. With this one, I went to a really cool old aircraft surplus place and bought some vintage hardware that's used throughout the vehicle. There's a cool before flight release safety pin that I used as the hold down on the air filter enclosure. Overflow reservoir for the radiator. I scored a uh, 1800s whiskey bottle. And then with all of our vehicles, everything has our mascot, the Icon Lizard, on it. Fun thing with the derelicts is he's never in the same place and it's always responding to the shape of the car. It just feels natural, like he would sun himself there. He's right there up front on the hood. Jonathan's company started out as a Land Cruiser service center and he wasn't prepared for the impact the DeSoto build would have on his business. We're a little pinched. Is okay. Thursday or Monday good for you? When I built this wagon, it was like a nights and weekends personal project. But then within like a week or two of finishing it, it started getting all sorts of love and attention. And next thing I know, it's on the cover of Hot Rod magazine. It won some design awards and I was like, oh, I guess I can keep building these. Let's call them derelicts. And now the Icon team are producing 10 of these one-off customs a year. It starts with generally Either a client has an appreciation for our antics and they come and say, I just love the concept. What do you want to build that you haven't built yet? Or it's hyper specific. Something that, that the client already has a deep emotional relationship with. Then I'll get kind of down and dirty with the client to understand a great number of things, including what's their style? What materials do you find appealing? How obnoxious do you want it to be? Do you want it to be fast or do you want it to be stupid fast? But despite business booming, not everyone shares Jonathan's vision. We get a lot of grief from people with the derelicts where they think we're idiots for putting all that time and energy into it, but leaving it looking as if it's left in the barn. You know what though? I don't really care. It's stuff that excites me. And the fact that it's not for everyone, kind of makes it better to me. 